we don't know how the uh, financial tensions are going to develop. We are very confident that our banking sector is uh, solid, is well capitalized, has strong liquidity ratios, and that the rules that apply in Europe under the directive frameworks that we have concerning resolution, notably, uh, are not the rules that have been applied by other institutions, notably by the Swiss authorities. Switzerland does not set standards in Europe. And that has been made very clear by the joint uh, statement that was released earlier on by the European Banking Association authorities, by the um, ECB supervision uh, arm, and by the, what was the third one? It was the SRB, of course. So SRB, ECB supervision, and EBA have been very specific on, on that and on the pecking order uh, that applies uh, in, in, in Europe. So, those financial tensions will have an impact. Which one? For how long? How deep? Obviously remains to be seen. And if it does have an impact, it will probably lead to some tightening of the financing conditions that we are observing. We are already seeing some tightening of financing conditions. So we already see that our monetary policy actually has an impact in the financing sector. We see it in the rates, we see it in the terms and conditions, we see it in the, we see it in the volume of lending. That might be accentuated because of the financial tensions, irrespective of you know, the strength and solidity of our banking sector. And we will have to take that into account as part of the data that we will receive when we make our next monetary policy decision.